All right, so now I'm gonna be going over um, the mobile section on funnel creating and websites um, just to show you guys um, a few things that you should know while you are doing your funnels and websites on mobile. So as we can see here, all of these pre-built templates will have, if you come to the mobile section here, beside the desktop, press on that, um, the mobile version of that site already created. And then it's all looking great. Um, one thing to note, if you're gonna make changes to the desktop version, as you can see, if you select this global section here, and you come to advanced, you will see the visibility is just on desktop. So if you make any changes in here, so for example, if we add a exclamation mark to here, you press save and you go to mobile, it won't show up here. So what you actually have to do, I mean, if it's a little change, you can leave this like this because as you can see, if you select this section, you go to advanced, this is only visible on mobile. So any changes you make to this page won't show up on to the desktop version. Um, and then as you can see here on this global section, it's only on mobile. So any changes you make to mobile won't uh, show up on the desktop version. It's good in some case because some buttons might, you might wanna adjust a few things differently. So you can do that. If you want, um, if you're doing like a bigger type of change and you want it just to go directly to there, like if you change, and then so if you're gonna do a lot more changes to a section and you just want to clone it and put it onto the mobile version without having to change things on both uh, ends, desktop and mobile, this is something you can do. So let's say we want to delete this subheadline and we want to change this picture. And also you can search up uh, any copyright free images on our platform. So home, and then just make sure you come over here and select all, because this is selected on your media. And then you can use any one of these pictures um, that you see on here. So let's just change this to this picture. And okay, so now if you want this to just automatically show up on mobile, then I will show you what to do. Uh, another thing to note, if you have empty boxes here without elements in them, if you're not planning to put any elements in there, before you clone it, make sure you delete them because it will complicate things um, on the resizing part on the mobile. And then these things all got kind of moved over. So what you're gonna do is select this box and you are going to margin the top to get those to come down. Something like that. And so what you're gonna do is come over here to the clone button and clone it. <clears throat> now you can see there are two different ones. We click on this one advanced visibility is just on desktop not on mobile this one you're going to come down press advanced you're going to select mobile and not on desktop so and then save that so you cloned the version that's going to be on mobile and you took that off of desktop because obviously you don't want this section to be displayed twice then you're going to go to mobile and you're going to see two of them here now um, so then obviously with this one, you're gonna go to this section, go to advanced, you're gonna unselect mobile, and then you're going to have the changes that we made there. And then so for this, sometimes the resizing uh, on mobile will get a little squished together. And so in this case, it's over your picture and you don't want that, select on the text and go to the margin top. And this will bring your text down just like that. So it may take some getting used to, but uh, if you want, if you're doing a lot of changes, you can clone it and then unselect uh, the ones that you don't want on that page, um, just like that. I hope that makes sense. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out and uh, we can help you along the way um, with your journey on building sales funnels and websites. See you guys in the next video.
and also be sure to save. Thank you.